Hi everyone and welcome to the Sewing Swan. It's been a while. I apologize. I've been in vacation and back from vacation to sending the kids to school and then I got this flu um, uh, sickness for over two weeks and still I was waiting for my voice to recover. So today I brought these lovely canvas uh, um, uh, work from uh, Egypt from Alexandria and I thought it's a great idea to introduce it to you uh, it's um, um, like a painting um, uh, printed on canvas and we just follow the color here it comes a guide with every one of these with every uh, shade you need uh, uh, of thread I mean and you follow you follow the colors you 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 put the stitch on black with black thread it's only one stitch is the ax stitch or the cross stitch uh, <clears throat> a very basic stitch in embroidery i will be showing this uh, later uh, it's one single stitch that goes all over the piece that you are working on just do you believe the beauty of this um, of this piece this is supposed to be um, uh, yeah an Egyptian farmer so beautiful so you just follow the color <clears throat> uh, of the canvas with the color of the thread these are 100% um, cotton thread especially for this kind of embroidery and you use this kind of needle here it's not sharp it has to be because to be safe because you will be pulling the thread outward all the time you insert it from behind the canvas and it comes out this direction and this is how you go all the time so it has to be uh, uh, safe for you to use So here is the lovely farmer piece. Oh. Look at this. How beautiful this is it's so beautiful by the way these pieces are made in Egypt you get lovely pieces also from Italy from uh, from Greece very lovely pieces are sold there and they are very cheap really really they are very cheap in Egypt Then you get this long it comes by the way in uh, in various sizes and um, whether it's in English or in Arabic <clears throat> you have a number for the uh, for the product itself so you can uh, search it within the country you are buying from do you believe the beauty of this piece I just love it I can't wait to see it finished Now let me show you how the stitch is done. It's one of the basic uh, uh, stitches in embroidery. Um, uh, very, very basic and very, very easy. And you don't have to size it because the, um, uh, the holes in the canvas maintain the size of the uh, stitch for you. You don't have to worry about the size of the, um, uh, of the stitch itself. Um, I'm using this uh, non-sharp. Uh, needle as I've told you uh, for safety of course you do not use any other kind of um, uh, of needle with this kind of work and uh, thread should not be um, more than 12 or 13 uh, inches I mean in double folded <clears throat> and then you take one of the ends of the uh, of the um, uh, thread and just make a simple knot and you are ready to go. You can use a loop uh, 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 for the piece. I never done it with a loop. I made many, many of these 
uh, through uh, the years and I did not need a lube uh, by working on it it softens and it gets really handy to deal with so uh, from the back I'm using a different thread. I will use the red on the uh, on the royal blue uh, um, uh, uh, section of the uh, canvas. But of course, we follow the colors and we follow this guide. We bring colors by the guide before starting any of these pieces. Make sure that you got all the colors. And uh, the actually the uh, uh, the guy or the lady working on the shop can help you maintain the quantity approximately that you need in the um, in the uh, in the piece for the piece. So, by the way, if you ran out of a uh, of a color, you can replace it with another color if you are making something like um, flowers. Sometimes you cannot; you have to stick. To the colors and sometimes you can it depends on the piece you are working on but make sure that you get all of your um, colors before starting the, uh, the piece do your best and here so here is the color I am working on you could see this these um, small uh, holes so from behind the canvas you take the big holes because it's like columns of threads so we are not working between columns we are working on the big holes just stick it anywhere in any big hole in the canvas get it out and then on the diagonal you go to the next hole to have this little line on the diagonal this is a half stitch this is a half stitch and and actually in this in this kind of uh, of uh, of artwork we use full stitches and half stitches half stitches when we are at the edge of one color and we are moving to the next color after we finish that or if we do not want to get for example if you are doing this black section if you make a full color a full uh, uh, sorry a full stitch here the black will be overcoming the royal blue so in this very edge of the um, of the in the edge of the black uh, color we make half stitches like these ones so showing you the full stitch now you got it through the canvas from behind to from the back to the front and then one stitch on the diagonal which counts as half stitch of the cross um, uh, stitch and then where the uh, where the um, <clears throat> where the thread ended go down from behind to the next stitch take it out and then you make the second diagonal line to have a full stitch and this is the stitch you have yeah being too close to the camera may not make it uh, clear but he here it looks clear on the uh, white background of the table we'll do it again so the next stitch you can you can use it from you can um, uh, stick your uh, get your uh, needle through from the one on the right or the one on the left it depends on where you are going on the canvas so I'm sticking to the one on the left I'm getting it out and then we don't make the stitches separate they have to stick together from the end of this stitch I'm getting through and then from the next from the next hole to where I went in I come out and then I go again to attach the first stitch because they have to be next to each other all the time and there you go for the second stitch
it's very tiny this is the very nature of it it's very tiny but it shows so I hope you like this tutorial I hope you found it um, um, interesting to get to know this kind of embroidery it's just it's hard to call it embroidery but it is it's just one stitch but it's so lovely it gives you beautiful beautiful results that you will fall in love with subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet and wait for the next tutorial i hope you give this video a thumbs up if you like it and share it and comment below tell me what you think about it and i will see you next time bye bye